Reality al Mahdi, this channel is red light. Enjoy the blessed words of the well guided Imam here on Reality al Mahdi. Thank you, Sayyidi Muhammad El Sheikh. We conclude the international questions with the situation in India. The statesmen deemed blasphemous by spokesmen of the ruling party have been condemned by all Muslim countries. Some of them have even called for boycott of Indian products. Sayyidi Muhammad El Sheikh, believers have been murdered and stigmatized in India for a while. What should be the attitude of the Muslim community in this situation? What should be the image of the religion? My observation is that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, since he was sent by the Lord, experienced trials during his mission of terrible trials elsewhere. By divine will, the Prophet is no longer of this world, but the trials still continue as evidenced by the regular criticisms towards his person. This is the case recently with the words of the spokesman of the Indian government. What I consider myself is that the Prophet, if one criticizes him, it will not bother him. Because he has been honored by the one who created us. If anyone else raises disparaging remarks, the word of Allah will always be above. Since Allah testified on the Prophet through the noblest qualities, I consider that anyone who addresses disparaging remarks to the Prophet can attest that he is his own reflection of the darkness of his heart. On the other hand, Allah has purified, honored, and magnified the Prophet. Since then, notice that the Prophet has been the subject of a number of remarks, either accusations or drawings. What, in my opinion, should be the attitude of the Muslim world? Wherever the Prophet is outraged, it is to stand up and pray upon him. What I retain as a solution is wherever the Prophet is outraged, let us pray upon him. For us, I believe that the solution is not to be found in boycotting one product or another. Because if each time in a country remarks are raised against the Prophet and we boycott the products of this country, in the long run, we'll end up no longer having anything to consume. I consider that we as Muslims should redeem any criticism against the Prophet if we pray upon him. As Allah said, Ya ayyuhallazina amunu sallu alihi wa sallimu tasliman. Now whoever criticizes the Prophet, let's perform the zikr of the Salatul Fatiha. Let's redeem this criticism with a prayer upon the Prophet. That way, Allah will spare us through the Prophet. I'm not talking about sparing those who criticize, because criticizing the Prophet can lead to a multiplication of misfortunes and disaster. If each criticism is redeemed by a prayer, Allah can spare us from it through the person of the Prophet. The Prophet is a figure that no one can criticize. Those who criticize him don't know him. Those who criticize the Prophet don't know him. If they knew him, they would really love him. As far as the Indian government and their fellow men are concerned, their sole purpose is to provoke. This provocation I see is because the Islamic religion scares them. Islam with its many followers who believe in Allah, loves the Prophet and follow him, scares them. Why all the time Muhammad, when Muhammad is the best of the created beings? Why all the time Muhammad, when Muhammad is the essence of blessings, the light of the hearts, the beloved of Allah? Why Allah is Muhammad? What did Muhammad do to them? What did the companions of Muhammad do to them? Those who reflect the qualities of Muhammad, what did they do to them? This shows that they are the ones who have a problem. The Muslims and truthful believers have no problem. It is those who criticize the Prophet who have a problem. Their problem is the disease that Allah grows in their hearts. If you have a certain disease in your heart, you will no longer be able to love someone good. This disease which spreads prevents you from being healthy. 
The disease is spreading day by day, and so are the criticism of the Prophet. It spreads among them. It's up to them to seek treatment. We sometimes hear people say that Muslims must seek treatment because of their faith, but they're the ones who should seek treatment. Attacking the Prophet of others and denigrating is the behavior of someone who is not healthy. So it is up to them to get treatment. We Muslims have no problem redeeming any criticism against the Prophet by as salatul fatiha as salawat on the Nabi. So let us pray upon the Prophet. By praying upon the Prophet, all criticism will turn against the person in his heart, while Muslims will live peacefully and in absolute certainty. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Prophecy, prophecy, his time has come, his time has arrived. The one Rasulullah has told us about this mission at the end of time.